Good morning, good morning, good morning. What an exciting morning we have. I am <laughs> tired already. <laughs> it's been, um, it's one of those days. It is a massive day in the Stampin' Up! world. Um, I will tell you about it uh, in a moment. My name is Elisa Tilsner. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. And uh, it's, yes, it's a very, very exciting day. So we are doing some live crafting today as we do every Thursday morning. But I knew that because today is going to be such a big day, I am going to give myself a break and I'm cheating. Well, it's not really cheating. I was going to say I'm cheating today and I'm casing a card from the mini catalogue. And uh, I've had a quick flick through as demonstrators. We get to see the brand new catalog today. And uh, I am pleased to say that what I'm using today is actually going to be in the next catalog. It didn't hit the retiring list, which is out. Um, so that's really exciting. So let me swing around. Just jump in and say hello if you are. Um, if you are watching, just so that I can see all my comments are working. Um, but I'm going to swing around and I'm going to show you what we're going to do straight away, I think. So let's swing around. So yes, as you are coming in, change change uh, camera views. As you're coming in, jump in. Let me know where you're from. Have you seen the colour um, list that is retiring what are you sad about? So tell me these things as you are coming in. I am very sad about Bermuda Bay disappearing because as you guys know, I use that colour an awful lot. So anyway, on to today's card. So flicking through the mini catalogue um, is this stamp set here and it didn't really grab my attention. The samples are nice, didn't really grab my attention. But then as you're flicking through the catalogue and you know that there's samples at the back as well, and this one grabbed my attention. This card right here, the Hello There card, did it for me. So I didn't purchase the stamp set, but I did purchase the dies. So hello, Becky. She's uh, live from watching from the US. Woo! Michaela's made it to a live finally. Yay! Michaela, uh, who is on now, I have to say that I'm streaming to YouTube and um, and Facebook at the same time. So if you see me commenting to other people, that would be why. So and Kayla says that she's sad about Bermuda Bay too, but Lemon Lime Twist and Lost Lagoon are back. Do you know what? I was really really happy because. I got lemon lime twist. I've still got berry burst. See, this is how lazy I am because I don't clear out my, I take them out, but I don't clear them out completely. There's another one that I have, oh, this one here. And I have this one here. So I think I, I think it was only three that I had. So I haven't gone through and um, I haven't looked at everything. I haven't even looked at the, all the new colours. So I don't actually know everything. So um, now I've got to find that spot to put them back. Hang on two seconds. So I've got a few ink pads still. So I'm going to, yes. And pretty, yes, and I've got Pretty Peacock as well. So I've got that. So I do have a few colors I, do, I was hoping rococo rose and just jade would come back i don't i haven't actually looked properly so it's just been a busy busy crazy morning and i even got up earlier as well but uh, yes yeah, so that's what we're going to do um that is the card we're going to do so we're going to case that now stampin up have done that weird thing where um they haven't color coordinated as much as I would like to colour coordinate. So I am probably going to change my embellishments. Um, but other than that, I think I'm pretty happy with um, their colour scheme. So because they've got, they've used, I think, I think they've used a pink um, embellishment, which I think I'm going to use a purple embellishment to go in my flowers. So Fresh Freesia is what we're using and on basic white so here are the dies just in case you wanted to have a look at them so this is the one that I'm going to use today for this card and if I can get it off there we go yes one of the new uh, it was moody mauve 
was that what it was called? Um, so yes, that will be. I do actually still have my Rococo rose because I'm a little bit on the lazy side. I wish I had been lazier and had lost Lagoon still, but it sort of makes you think, oh, should I keep my ink pads for the next, how, how often do we have a, a, a refresh every five years or something? You sort of think, oh, maybe I should stash all that stuff away somewhere so if it happens to come back again then I've got them but anyway so I'm going to be using this die and then they've got some hearts a bit of a scallop edge this one um, does a little stitch edging and then lots of little holes and then I've used this one yesterday in another card which I haven't finished making um, which just cuts a curve and then we've got some flowers and some leaves and these ones here will match um, the one that I'm using today so but I'll do them in a minute let's get this one I think I need my big um, I think I need my big guy for this oh how's that gonna sit I have to look at the picture I think I think I need to have it right in something like that I guess oh and you guys did you see did you see Da, look I found them yay and I know some of you had some wild guesses about where they were and it is crazy because hang up let me just flick back around to me for two seconds so I can see if I can show you so I'm gonna see whether I'm no uh, yes so so you can see behind me on my counter top here you can see my machine there and I've got this little cabinety um draw thing which i keep all my created cards in the top and then down the bottom i keep like card kits and stuff that i've got coming up that need to be cut into cards so it was sitting on top of that little draw system thing so i know and i'm just like well it was just like sitting up here and i had gone through all my boxes that are sitting on the floor I'd gone through all my drawers and I was just like what where the heck is it and then I spotted it just sitting on top just waiting to be used right alongside the other dye machines as you would expect so because <laughs> I was using my my small one yesterday and I'm like I can't keep I can't keep using this small one because it's so out of shape Every time I try die cutting an image, it's okay if I'm if I'm die cutting just shapes. But when I was die cutting an image, it was not. Um, it was definitely not happening. So yay! So I found them. Oh, I was like, they have to be here somewhere, right? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I need to cut. I need to have all those leaves right inside. Otherwise, they you can't even see. I'm pretty sure I have to line that up like that. <clears throat> now um, I do not have measurements for you for today's card so you will um, need to sign up to my newsletter which you can see on the screen www.lesatilsner.com and you can head over there and you'll see the subscribe button to my newsletter and then this card will go out as a PDF um, in tomorrow's newsletter and then every Friday you will get another free pdf which is generally the card that we make today so i know they haven't my my plates haven't cracked yet i did get new ones of these but i'm still using the old one um now ooh, let's have a look and see what we got here okay so i need to snip a little bit how cool is that oh and it's got some embossing in it all righty so let me just snip this out Sorry. oops Crikey, don't destroy it. All right, so we'll just continue that along the line there and I'll just continue that along that edge. But how pretty is that? Let me get this out of the way so you can see. I think my, I think my curve might be, now hang on a minute. So I'm looking at the picture because I've got the picture beside me here. I printed it out and they've got like a straight edge that goes up so they must have put theirs on a different angle to mine but that's okay that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stick with that so now I also need um I'll use my I'll just use my big machine for this too I think and cut everything out at the same time so we're gonna do a little bit of um ink blending the colors will be granny apple green and shaded spruce so i need 
from this and I might be able to get. So I need two of them. But I can only do one at the moment. Oh, one at a time. That's my fingernails. Um, so I'll just do two runs through. So, yes. Okay, so yes. Um, there's a whole heap of stuff I was going to tell you and I almost forget to tell you these things when I'm crafting. I think we get so stuck on what we're doing that we forget and then I get sidetracked. <gasps> Oops, you dropped in my lap. Okay, so I need a few more of them. All right, one, two, three. Look how delicate these are. They've got a little bit of embossing in them too, which I can't get up off the... There we go. Now, I have a feeling looking at these that I'm probably going to have very inky fingers when I finish them because I don't actually know whether they have... Um, what, what, which shape do I like better? Um, I think I like that shape better. Uh, they haven't actually shown... Like they don't give instructions. We just have a recipe, which is how I found out the colours. But they um, haven't said whether it was like ink blended on paper and then die cut or the other way around. It looks like it's been ink blended after. So I'm hoping that that's what they've done. Anyway. If not, we'll just do our own thing, right? Okay, pretty coat. Uh, Ida says, pretty coat. I can't talk this morning. Pretty peacock is gorgeous, but Bermuda Bay is. I know, Bermuda Bay. I And you know what? I didn't use Merry Merlot for such a long time. And then um, when that, uh, is it True Beauty? When that designer series paper came out, it looks stunning with Blushing Bride, which is also retiring. So. So just a reminder, oh, now that's what I want to tell you. Just as a reminder of things, what's happening and all that sort of thing, um, because there was a lot to be going on. So um, the retiring lists did come out today of both the annual and the mini, okay? There's a lot, lot, lot going on. And I think I'm going to use some scrap paper. I want to use this. This is my this is my cheat sheet. So maybe I'll use this. And I have to go gently. See how gentle that sponging is? I have to go gently. So anyway, so the retiring lists are out for both catalogues. They show special pricing on them, but the sale doesn't start until the 4th of April. Okay, so if you are looking at it and you're wondering where the specials are, they do not start until the 4th of April. So you are going to have to make your wish list. Okay, make your wish list and then you will be able to come back on April. I'm just going to hold that one there and go around. Okay, but having said that, if there is something on that wish list, like any of the retiring colours and their accessories, probably best to get them. I, I haven't, I, honestly, I have not looked at the list as yet. Um, so I don't actually know what's on there. There's too many things to look at this morning. It's like, where do I go first? There's too many squirrels. So it's really, really hard. And then we also got um, our pre-order list that we can start choosing from. And I got my, how's that? I got my um, information because my husband and I are going to the Swiss Alps in May. So we got all, I got all my detail or some of my details about travel for that. And it's like, ah, where am I going to look? You know what? I've got to go lightly. Go lightly, Alisa. Go lightly. I can't. I can't help myself. You guys know me. I can't go lightly. <laughs> so, ooh, pretty, pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to pop a little bit of shaded spruce over the top of that, which I should probably be using a small, ooh, crikey, streaky. 
I should probably be using a smaller blending brush because it's only meant to be close to the edge, but um, I am going to use a big one. And even though it's got, have a look at this, even though it's got like that color green on it, which I've been using Evening Evergreen and, and um, Soft Succulent and all that sort of stuff. And look, there's no color on that. So I am quite happy to go, well, I'm going to dip because they're retiring too. I'm going to dip into my shaded spruce with that. And I haven't even, oh, obviously I haven't washed them or anything like that. So, yes, suitcase carrier. Yay! Uh, I know, we're going to go, there's one of the James Bond movies. I think it was the Aussie James Bond. Oh, whoopsie. That is very intense. Just dab, I think, Alyssa, just dab. Whoops. Uh oh Dab, dab. Perhaps should have die cut a, a, another bend. <laughs> I'll bring this up to the camera in a, in a moment. Whoopsie. That is really, really, really intense. But pretty, you know. I might blend in. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. No, 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 they're not retiring the blending brushes. Did I say that? No, I should be. No, 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 not the blending brushes. The colours the colors are retiring. Oh, gosh, you gave, made me have myself a freak out. No, 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 just the colours. The two colours are retiring, so I'm going to repurpose that blending brush. But what is retiring is the Stamparatus. Okay, so if you have not got one yet, you might like to think about getting one. How's that? I'll bring this up onto here. They are retiring the Stamparatus because they are in, ever since they bought it out, you guys know that there are other um, tools similar to the Stamparatus. We tried to make ours quite different. Well, I when I say we, like I had a hand in making it, right? When Stampin' Up! designed their Stamparatus, they tried to make it differently so that, um, you know, it was different to the ones that are on the market. But the ones who are on the market still didn't think they were different enough. So they actually took action, legal action against Stampin' Up! So I don't know the outcomes of them. But um, obviously it must be substantial enough or, or Stampin' Up! have just gone, oh, well, you know, we'll just pull our bow out or something. I don't know. So that is the only detail I know is that, um, right, is that um, oh, I can't get my words out this morning. I think it was because I was up so early. Um, I have to go lightly with this and that's scaring me. It's probably why I can't speak anyway. Uh, yeah, so there's some legal issues with it. So. That's all I know. All right, I've got to go lightly, 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 because that's what they've done in the sample, okay? And you guys know light is really, really hard for me. <laughs> so feel free to tell me when to stop because I will just keep putting the colour down. I am terrible. It's supposed to be super light and only in this corner area here. So I guess it just takes the starkness out of um, the card. But I don't like the look of it when it's blended lightly. So I'm trying not to put pressure on my brush. I'm just going super, super lightly. Oh, now the other thing I have to tell you is that tomorrow I need to organise my catalogue list. So if you have purchased, if you're a customer of mine and you have purchased at least $100 in the last six months, so from October to tomorrow, um, you are automatically on my list. I think I'll stop there, right? Okay. Maybe I'll just take a little bit of harshness over there. Yeah. Um, so you will get one automatically if you want one. Um, there is still time to place an order and get on my list now they've splattered with a marker now i don't have a marker can you believe it i have a i have a blend 
maybe I can try it with a blend. Maybe I should get them out of the way in case it ends up disastrous. Okay, so there's a bit of ink splatter. And I'm really reluctant to do it with um, the blends because you don't want to destroy the nibs. But And I don't know how inky they are, but let's have a little... I don't think anything's working anyway. Nope, that's not going to work. Some people can get that to work. I can't. So instead, let me flick some. Let me flick some ink on here. And I'm just wondering whether I should put in a drop of reinker. So bear with me while I grab my. Uh, red ink shade of what color am I using? Um, I hope you got that correct. Uh, I just got a whole heap of here. I just I was gonna say, I just got a whole heap of ink re inkers and now I can't find it. All right, so I'm just gonna put a drip of re inker in there because I do want it quite intense of color. I don't want to be, um, I don't want to be like a watery I want it to actually be seen so even though I am going to use a water brush I'm not going to use a lot of water okay so try and I have to use some water because it's really really thick and it probably won't flick okay well have a look at that that flicked all right because if you have it too wet then your card is obviously going to you know to change direction here I'm flicking in the same direction all right that's enough just a little bit it's probably too much and now I've got to clean this uh, yeah um, what else do I have to tell you I don't know oh that's it um, membership my my membership club um, tutorials are ready to go they are loaded the videos have been recorded everything is ready to go we are using the motorbike legendary ride this month so if you want to get into um actually i might have to do that later just remind me to, just remind me to clean that later because otherwise i'll pick it up and i'll go to use it and it won't be cool so i'm going to, I'm going to set that aside to dry because i think that panel is right so you have until tomorrow to sign up for membership if you want to join is what I'm trying to get at. All right, now we're going to do these guys. And this is where I think I'm going to end up with very inky fingers. Make sure I'm using the correct brush for the correct green. All right, so we're just going to go... Actually, you know what? Instead of getting inky fingers, I could use my tweezers if I knew where they were. There we go. How about that? There we go. See, look, no mess. Quite cool. Okay, let's get this one done. Uh, yeah, due to copyright. Even though you'd think that we had enough differences with our hinging and all of that sort of stuff. So, but alas. So, anything that was related to the Stamparatus, um, like the magnets and actually this little grid paper that I'm working on are all going as well now they are well stocks everything is while stocks last but with the Stamparatus if um, if there are leftovers they will just go onto an online ordering um, like if you know they'll just be put online and, until they sell out okay so now I'm going to do a little bit of I'm going to take some of that off that's easier. Oh, look at that. Nice. Turn around. Whoopsie. Yeah, so I'm thinking that I, because I really like this size grid paper. I don't know why they don't have to get rid of this size. I've sort of gotten used to using the little grid paper. I don't want to go back to the big one. All right, I think I might just put a little bit more of the granny apple. Oh. So what about, has anybody looked at the retiring list? I don't even know what, is there any stamp sets or anything that anyone has gone, oh no. And we're getting new markers. 
like our stamp and write markers are being reconfigured so they're going to have new tips on the ends of them and so that's exciting whoopsie okay I think I quite like them I really like them so let me bring them up I really like the color in them oh, look at that pretty that shaded spruce is just like Dyes are up to 60% off. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. I knew Thursday was going to be a big day. Ah, chop down my grid. But you know, and I've got two packets of that big grid paper too um, sitting up in the cupboard. You know, the one that's got the, um, the pretty pictures on it? And they're loose leaf too, which um, oh, that's probably why I don't like them because they're loose leaf. Okay, I think I am done with my blending brushes. Put them in the right container. Okay, done with you, done with you. Now, I, because I don't have the stamp set that matches these dies, um, which I can put away now, I am going to pull out the Charming Sentiments dies as well. But I do quite like the font in that hay there. But I'm going to use this one here. So, and I'm thinking I might do um, Wishing You Everything Wonderful. I think that would look quite good on there. Oh, hang on, they're a lot bigger than what I thought. Wishing You Everything Wonderful. Oh, no, that would probably be okay. Bring it in. So this is what I love about the photopolymers is that you can um, line them up on your actual card and go, oh, yeah, that's not too bad. And because it's got the sentiment, I can die cut it pretty easily. Okay. So I've got my shaded spruce card stuck. I know that and that um, shaded spruce really lifts the granny apple green. Nice pairing. There we go. All right, I need stuff everywhere. White. Oh. Okay. Oh, I feel my, my, my son that got a barge up. Is it one barge or two barges? He works, he's doing a trade and he works out at the shipway. And they've got two big barges up at the moment. Normally he works from 7.30 to 4. But they have to be doing overtime while these barges are apparently it's going to take four weeks or something. And so he has to start work at 6.30 now and work till 5, I think. So it's all hands on deck. So I was up a little bit earlier. I didn't. <laughs> Sarah did a, um, Sarah, who is our CEO of Stampin' Up, she did a live on one of our private demonstrator Facebook groups this morning and I thought it was at 6 a.m. Sydney time which would make it 5 30 a.m. for me and I was like oh yeah I can handle that but then I checked the dates and it was like it was going to be 4 30 a.m. and I went wrong I'm not waking up for that but you know what I kept waking up anyway because I kept thinking you know you know when you set your alarm for earlier than what you normally do and then you freak out that you're going to miss your alarm that was one of those nights <laughs> so I checked my phone and it was quarter past four in the morning and I had the brief thought in my head like, oh, maybe I could watch the live. And then I was like, no, don't be silly. I can still have two hours of sleep. So my sleep won out. I have to go back and watch the replay. And then tonight, um, we, my team and I, we were going to jump onto Zoom and do a catalogue walkthrough. I'm sure that I've had one quick flick this morning um, and I'm pretty sure that there's plenty of things that I would have missed. There's always something and there's always something that other people pick up that you forget as well. Yeah, 4.30, it's a little bit too early in the morning. I mean, you know. And then I was like, no, no, brain, don't wake up because you know how sometimes when you have a thought in the middle of the night and bing, sometimes the light the light goes on in the brain and then you can't get back asleep so thankfully that did not happen right here 
So I will get this one die cut. So let's find the die. Um, is it that one? It's prob probably, yep, that's it. Probably the one that I used the most. That's why it wasn't stuck down properly. Okay, let's get this lined up. And of course, because my husband is away at the moment, he calls me, but he doesn't normally call me until nearly 10 p.m. And then by the time you've chatted for, you know, half an hour or whatever, which is amazing, I think, because even though we call every night while he's away, he calls, and we still have heaps of things to talk about, even though he's just gone to work and I've just you know, worked at home. <laughs> it's like you'd think that you would run out of things to talk about, but so it's probably a good sign if we can still keep chatting and then have to go, okay, I gotta go, I gotta go at half past ten. Okay, let's clear all this out of the way. I think we're ready for assembly. So once we get all of that sort of stuff organized, it's not it's not too bad a card so we're gonna have um, we'll have our everything they just did a square and I thought well let's do my piece is probably a little bit smaller than theirs after I cut everything out and then we will have some of these leaves coming out on this side so even if I my splatter isn't in the perfect spots at least they sort of blend into the back a little bit and they're probably lighter on the example because um, they've used it from a marker and I used pretty heavy ink. So, you know, I don't think I'll poke them out because I'm just not going to. So these are white and these guys, are they the same? I think they're all the same. So these ones will just go around. I, of course, I've got my different sentiment there, so I'll have to place them a little bit differently. And then we will have two over here and then they used a pink um, embellishment on top but I think I am going to use either I don't know what colors these are I wish they would put colors on the back of them that would make life so much easier I think these are gorgeous great and I'm pretty sure by the looks of it that that is fresh fresher as well so I might use the dark purple on them so that is my story all righty so we will stick this on with, oh, and I'm running out, with um, these things. And then my son did, he made this crazy thing last night. He's been... <laughs> His girlfriend sent him, last time he was in Adelaide, his girlfriend made him this, I don't even know what to call it, a slice. I don't know, it's a cherry ripe slice. Anyway, he wanted to make one last night. So I think he's listening to me. I think he's in the room next door. I shouldn't tell stories, right? Whoop, hang on, now he's coming in. What? You listening to me? Go away. I heard Cherry Wright. Cherry Wright, no, because I'm telling everybody. I heard. Yes, I'm telling everybody what you made last night. What Laura made for you. Oh, did you? It's chocolate and then how many bars of Cherry Wright? Right? A lot. Like I think he bought 10 bars. 10 bars? It's got six, 12. 12? It's got, so there was four, le three left over. No, it has to be four left over. So in my, anyway, it's got a lot of cherry ripe. So you put cherry ripe in a tin, layer them, and then you pour over melted chocolate and then you, oh, have a look. Okay, he's just come in. Have a look at this. So this is what you do. Can I touch? If I touch it, I have to eat it, right? Is that, no, you that, get that the chocolate rules? on your fingers and then your cards will get Okay, real. so I'll tip it. So it's got layers of, so you put, chocolate on the bottom of the tin then layers of so two four so you what had eight eight cherry ripe bars and then it's got chocolate in between and then chocolate on top so and then slice it up so check that out but his girlfriend made him one all with dark chocolate so which was like oh my gosh it was full on 
So I've been looking forward to having some of that with my morning tea. Thank if, you. If you want a coma, this is the way to do it. <laughs> if you want a sugar coma. I had a piece of it. And it was... At this time. I, it was leftovers. 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 Okay. I was legally obligated. <laughs> <laughs> so he made that last night. Oh, funny, funny. All right, I think I've got them all. So we blame we blame Laura for that. Alrighty, so we got that on, and then I'll pop this one up with dimensionals as well. I know, I don't know. And he won't share it with anyone. I bet you anything, he'll take it to his room, and that'll be that. We'll never see it again. He shared a tiny. Oh, you know what? That's really stupid of me. I don't need to do that. See, I'm thinking about chocolate and cherry ripes now. So when you put this on, don't put it on there because we're going to poke our leaves underneath. And if you put them on the edges, then you can't get your leaves underneath, right? Okay. <laughs> yum, yum. I know. Too yum. And really, really easy. Mind you, it's also really, really expensive. So that had eight bars of eight bars of uh, cherry ripe in it. So he said... He's been collecting them for over, for, for a little while. Through, no, two two blocks of chocolate. Um, so he he because he works at the supermarket in his part time. He um he was like oh chocolate's on special. So he'd bring home a couple of blocks of chocolate and then cherry ripes were on special. So they came home um, until he got everything that he needed. All right, so let's pop that there and a couple of these guys so you don't even need a recipe for that and the tins that I've got were really like those really old um, brassy coppery looking tins I think I think um, Craig's mum gave them to us ages ago and uh, they were just the perfect size to fit four cherry ripes in there without having to cut them up Sugar coma. It's probably best if he keeps them away from me anyway, because you know, trying to get um, some sort of health going on before we go on our holiday. All right, and then I think I will pop my. And we got our flowers to go. Uh, and I think I'm almost out of the mini ones too. All right. Two. Yep. Um, which ones are going to be? You know what? I think I'll just. Oh no, I don't even think I've got a pair. Of, I was going to stop, but I won't. Maybe I can cut them from here. There we go, we'll just do small ones from here. And Whoops, that didn't go on very well. Okay. I am really liking the greens in this and I probably wouldn't put a purple base either I probably so this is really good I really I do enjoy casing other things sometimes because it sort of puts you out of your own comfort zone right okay so we've got a big one I do have to pop mine in a slightly different position because of my different sentiment Wishing you everything wonderful. So I am, what I'm looking forward to most, I think, with the colour refresh is just, you know, using the same, oh, I've got the belly rumbles, excuse me, um, using the same um, stamp sets and stuff but having a completely new palette to be working with because I think when you use different colours, um, different colours, oh, where am I going to stick that? Um, 
Should we go up there or should we go here? I think I'll go there. Uh, when you're using different colours with the same stuff that you've already got, I think you can get a whole complete different feel and vibe to them. Um, yes, I I totally agree that, that the catalogue samples didn't, and that's what probably why I just glossed over them and it wasn't until I spotted this one and I think it was because the vibrancy in the green perhaps against the purple that really was like wow for me and, I, and otherwise I would have just skipped over it I didn't get the stamps um I just got the dyes so because I thought that they could be used with all sorts and as we can see you can just use them on their own so I'm going to use I think these perp See, they've used, I don't actually know what colour they've used in here. It says that they used the 2022-24 uh, uh, in-colour matte decorative dots. So what would that, oh, that would probably be Sweet Sorbet then. I don't think I've got those embellishments. So I'm going to use dark purple. Oh, you probably can't see properly. I think I'm going to use dark, the gorgeous grape, um, just to... rather than the light ones just to give them a bit of i don't know i guess because i've got the dark green along with the granny apple so there we go and then i will use some of the medium ones as well for the smaller flowers okay and one more three so there we go. Uh, Becky says, um, okay, yes, do that. Do that, Becky. And then I can help you out. So I did share a quick sneak peek of the cards last week, but if you want to stay put for two seconds, I can just grab them now. So I'm going to do a really, really super quick flick through. Um, so these are the cards for class. Really quick flick through. Doo -doo. So I've used a mixture of the dies and the stamping. That one's a uh, fancy cold. And then I've just used for the designer series paper, I kept it all to the black and grey so that I could put in any colour that I wanted to, which is a bonus when you've got that type of designer series paper. Okay, let me bring this up to the front now so that is super pretty so it i mean obviously it looks a little bit different to what i've got in there and you can see that i did go a lot heavier <laughs> i can't help myself um hi anna so i can't help myself and i have to do bold colors it's just me it's just the way i am but anyway i quite like them bold sort of stands out the leaves stand out a little bit more than the ones on this card I think so anyway there we go and the lighting is probably making it a little bit different as well but quite like it quite like it looks better bolder yeah I don't mind I think I quite like that quite like that okay I don't think um I'll just fix fix my hair before I come back on um I don't think I have anything else to tell you. It is a massive, massive day. I am going to put everything in my newsletter. I think I'm going to put everything in my newsletter, which will go out tomorrow. So I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to put one out today because my regular newsletter is on the Friday. So don't forget, sign up for my newsletter. I will have all the measurements for the card and the written instructions so that you can print it out and follow along if you wish. Um, if there's any cards that you see on my blog and it says on there that this went out as a tutorial feel free to message me because i have them all saved on my computer which is why i need to get another backup drive because i've gone through two terabytes of storage already and now i need to get a four terabyte backup and i keep forgetting so my computer's not being backed up at the moment <sighs> anyway that's digression uh so everything will go out tomorrow i did put the links to the retiring list on my Facebook page so you can go and check them out if you want um, and I will come back and edit the descriptions in the Facebook and the YouTube with links to my blog um, and also links to the membership and I think that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay I think we will see you next Thursday.
Day. Now, Easter is next Friday, right? I think it's Friday. Next Friday? I don't know. My days are all, I can just, I feel like there's so much going on in my head. Um, thank you for being you. Oh, thank you. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit uncore sometimes, you know what I mean? I'm a bit of a dag, but anyway. <laughs> so, I'm such a dag sometimes. Excellent. Okay, we will see you next Thursday, um, assuming everything is running smoothly in my head. Ta -da! I don't know what we'll do. I don't think I'll have, I definitely won't have any new product to show you by then. But, oh, that's oh, the other thing is Pip Todman and I from the UK will be doing a live stream together on the 19th of April. And hopefully we will have new product for you then. So, okay, that's it for me because I'm starting to ramble and I don't like that. So bye-bye. We'll see you again next week. See ya.